Wednesday afternoon, 10 at the top, held a forum on the economic impact of arts and culture in the upstate called Culture Counts. There was a panel of local experts to answer questions, as well as a keynote speaker, Anthony Radich, the director of Western States Art Federation. He spoke about what the arts can do for a local economy. Um, what we're seeing up here is uh, a lot of uh, central generation of, of monies uh, out of the arts and, of course, the urban areas, and that's great. But if you look at the 10 counties, there are a few counties, and I can't name them by name because I don't have my notes with me, but there are a few counties that have uh, data that shows there's a lot of activity there. And I think the challenge of that and the conversation today is a lot about uh, how to generate more activity where there are some signs that there is significant activity. So uh, I think what you see up here uh, across all 10 counties, uh, no one is like has nothing much going. If some people have not too much going. That's an opportunity to move forward. But some of them have considerable activity that can be built on. That's the, that's the good news. Spartanburg Water is one of the sponsors of 10 at the Top. I asked their communications manager, Chad Lawson, how a utility and the arts tie in. Water is the foundation of everything, Seth. Uh, so it takes great water to make everything. So we actually have an initiative now where we talk about great water, great community tied to our Choose Tap program. But, you know, to, to make anything, uh, water is that essential element. Uh, but, you know, in a, in a bigger, broader context, we're, we're talking about economic development and what, what we like, and Sparma Water is a presenting sponsor of this forum that we had today, and Sue Schneider, our CEO, is the chair of 10 at the top. We know that economic development is important uh, because we, you know, lay the infrastructure that connects people with water and, and reclaim water services. The event was not just about the forum. Ten at the Top also unveiled their newest interactive map, this one pointing out the locations of over 1,300 arts and culture sites in the upstate. Anthony Radich was a fan of this concept. It's very cool because it's like really how people are doing it today. And I think there's probably a bit of a generational shift there. Uh, a lot of younger people are going to go to that first. And I think that's great. And they're going to look at ways to develop a little tour uh, throughout the 10 counties. And you have it now. And I think it, it's great because it's, it's a starting point. And that tour can be built on with podcasts, videos, whatever. But uh, they unearthed a lot of attractions, a lot of facilities, a lot of uh, things that people might like to participate in. I'm Seth Stokes, 106.3 WORD News.